Hello. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that I consider really important when you prepare a presentation and it's the one of rehearsing your presentation. It's really important to rehearse for multiple reasons. The first one is that you will practice it and so you will know your material up front. The second one is that while rehearsing and practicing you will edit and correct some elements that you are not comfortable with speaking of or simply because it doesn't feel natural. And the third element is you will know your structure by heart and it's important to speak about structure because you don't have to know your text by heart. You have to know your structure so you feel more at ease and more relaxed when delivering it. So definitely what you have to do is to practice before and you can do it with real conditions with people you know for example colleagues from finance um, or non-finance if you prefer and you can do it also on your own thanks to powerpoint because powerpoint created a function a feature online and offline to rehearse with a coach that feature will help you practice your presentation and it will detect whether you say too many filler words, whether you speak too slow, too fast, so that you have a good feedback afterwards and you know what to correct. So what I propose is that we do it right now and I'm going to show you how it works. Stay with me. So here I'm in PowerPoint and um, I'm going to show you where it is. It's a simple slide deck I use for my trainings. And if you go to slideshow, you will see a lot of fear. What's interesting for us is rehearse with coach. So if you click on that button, you will directly go into full screen mode in the slides you are in and you have a button to start rehearsing. You can also decide not to have the, the real time feedback shown during your presentation so you are not distracted by the different tips and tricks it gives you. So let's start. Um, yes, so here uh, you see um, when I use filler words, it will directly detect it and it tells me to speak a bit faster because I speak quite slowly and in a monotone voice. So it will also detect it. If we go a bit further, I will just read it and see what will happen. Gather your data, use your financials, link them to operationals, get your data structured according to a data analysis, either from your ERP system or FPNA tools. See here, it directly says, says don't read your slides, summarize your point. If you go a bit further, you know how it works, analyze your data, uh, here another filler word. So basically here, if I use other type of filler words, it will detect it as well. Um, here basically two. So those are the type of elements. That the longer you stay in the rehearsal coach, the better your report will be and with the most information. So let's stop here and the report will be generated. We will see that in a moment and you will get the different type of feedback you've received during the presentation but also a summary here you see the time spent the number of slides the filler words you've used and whether you had a repetitive language and if your vocab was inclusive about the pace whether you go too slow or too fast well it gives an average so here it seems okay during the whole presentation. Of course, there is a start and the pitch. So depending on the rhythm, the intensity you give to your pitch, it will be considered as monotone or uh, in the target. And here it gives a last um, element about the originality. Uh, it's basically whether you read your slides or not. It can be more complete and you can have more tips 
if you uh, rehearse longer. It's not perfect, I know, but it's already a good start if you don't have the opportunity to practice with other colleagues. By time, for the moment, it's only in English. And another news is that it's driven by a machine learning engine so that the more we use it, the more it will improve itself. So try it, and if you like it, just say it in the comments. And if you don't, also share your thoughts in the comment section here. That's a bit it for today. If you have other ideas or if you like this type of videos, just tell me and I will try to make more. Bye.